All right, Mr. Sansomino here, checking it out, looking at these state questions, and once again, they try to give us something to challenge us, but we know this isn't a challenge for us. All right, look at the question. It says, the sunrise and the sunset times, and just so you know, sunrise means like the morning time, sunset means when it's nighttime, like you have to go to sleep. Okay, the sunrise and the sunset times for three days in February are recorded in the chart below. When they use the word recorded, it means to write it down, okay? They keep a record of things. Okay, so look at it. You got the date, February 8th. The sun came out at 7 a.m., and then the sun went down at 5.20. On February 15th, at 6.50 a.m., the sun came up. Sunset went down, 5.30 p.m. February 22nd, 6.40, the sun comes up. 5.40, sun goes down. All right, so basically what you're seeing is a pattern. On February 8th, the sun rose pretty, pretty late, and then suddenly February 15th, February 22nd, the sun is getting up a lot earlier, okay? Now, the question that we're gonna have to answer with this chart says this. Which statement is an accurate conclusion based on the chart? Now, they're gonna give us four choices that we're gonna check out in a second. But when you have charts like this, you always wanna look for the details. What do we see here? We see sunrise. We see the sunrise is going what? Becoming more earlier, okay? And then we're seeing the sunset is getting a lot what? Later, okay? So those are details. Whenever we do charts, we look for details. No keywords, details. All right, so stay tuned. We're gonna be right back. All right, so we're coming back and we're continuing from the question that we just had. Now what we're trying to find out based on the chart we just saw is whether or not which statement is the most accurate? Okay, we're looking at for the best statement. Now, if you remember, we had February 5th, 12th, and 18th. We had sunrise and we had sunsets. And what did we notice? We noticed that the sun was coming up a lot earlier, and we noticed that the day was finishing a lot later. Okay, so what we're looking at here is for the best possible answer. And what I want to do for this one is let's start from the bottom and work our way up. Let's change it up a little bit. It says the sun sets earlier as the months go by. Now we know from the chart that that is not true. Okay, so that's out. And again, we have A, B, and C to explore. It says the sun rises later as the months go by. Now if you remember from the chart, we didn't see that happening at all. Actually, we saw that the sun was rising a lot earlier as the months go by. So that's out. All right, no problem. So now we got the 50-50. Remember, Mr. Sansonino, always looking for the 50-50. Best possible choice. You want to increase our score for the test. It says, there are fewer hours of daylight as the months go by. That can't be right. Okay, because remember, the day was getting a lot longer. Okay, finally, we're left with A. It says, there are more hours of daylight. This is actually the best answer for the question. And why is it? Because remember, when we were looking at charts, the most important thing is checking out the, the details. Okay, and at first, charts are very confusing, okay, because there's a lot of information coming at you at once. What you've got to do is take a deep breath and break it down, okay, into sections. And what you're going to find out that for this particular question, the best answer is there are more hours of daylight as the months go by. All right? Very good.